after this aware that everything was now finished in order that the scripture might be fulfilled jesus said i thirst there was a vessel filled with common wine so they put a sponge soaked in wine on a spring of hyssop and put it up to his mouth when jesus had taken the wine he said it is finished and bowing his head he handed over his spirit the gospel of john chapter 19 verses 28 to 30 today let us consider the thirst of jesus his physical thirst must have been excruciating as he hung upon the cross pouring forth his precious blood upon the world but jesus as he hung on the cross felt another thirst of greater intensity the spiritual thirst for souls that greatly overshadowed his physical thirst his spiritual thirst is for each of us for our soul for our salvation as he hung upon the cross jesus did not think of himself his suffering or his wretched physical condition instead he thought of each of us he thought of all those for whom he was giving up his life Psalm 69 verse 22 says Instead they gave me poison for my food and for my thirst they gave me vinegar Jesus fulfilled this scripture passage as he thirsted on the cross The vinegar given to our Lord on the cross was in fact spoiled wine and each of us symbolically speaking is this spoiled wine the purity of our humanity has been corrupted by original sin as jesus thirsted on the cross he longed to quench longed to be satiated by us in our weakened and broken state just as we are so that he can pour forth his cleansing mercy upon us let us reflect today upon jesus on the cross let us gaze at him as he gazes at us let us see the longing in his heart for each one of us let us know that he gave his life for us so that we could receive the gift of new life let us know also that our openness to this gift of his life poured out for us will console our lord's heart and fulfill his divine mission of salvation let us quench our lord's thirst today so that he can once again say it is finished let us pray my thirsting lord your sacred heart longs for me with love that is infinite and incomprehensible you desire that i come to you receive your love and quench your thirst as i gaze upon you in your suffering state i open myself to you and to the gift of your precious blood 
pour out for me may my openness to you be a consolation to you as i receive your divine love jesus my loving and trusting lord i trust in you amen